Hi everyone, it's Ruri at Clodden Painting Studio. Um, we're continuing our series on uh, Napoleonics today um, with a look at uh, the first of Napoleon's opponents that we're going to do, um, which is a Russian uh, line infantryman. Uh, it's a 28mm plastic model from Warlord Games from their 1812 to 1815 um, set. Uh, this later period um, Russian uniform was pretty consistent across the whole army. Um, all regiments tended to have the same uh, collars and cuffs um, and that means that painting them um, is probably uh, quite straightforward um, and as a a model without a great coat probably the Russian uniform is the easiest one to um, start with. Um, the jacket is a green. Um, I'm using um, deep green um, from uh, Vallejo um, and let's work it into um, the model. We might need a couple of layers as with most paints um, but I'll just see how one layer looks and then decide if a second is needed. There's a little bit of uh, cuff detailing um, that can be um, in the green. Um, base coat I've used on this one um, is uh, from Halfords um, Automotive uh, Primer. Um, I've used their grey primer and then over the top from an, an angle above um, I've done a zenithal uh, spray with some white. Um, and it just means we're getting a little bit of highlighting um, without having to take time uh, later to build up any layers. Of course, just working with the, the grey on its own would be perfect, um, or white for that matter. So, while the first layer of green dries, I'll work on the exposed skin of the face and the hands. Uh, Army Painter uh, tanned flesh for the base coat here. I'm just using my size 2 brush for uh, practically everything. And, oh, sorry, uh, size 1 brush. This is a uh, Raphael Series 8404, which I got recently as a birthday present. has a nice big belly on it so it does take up a lot of paint which can be helpful that also has a really nice thin point moving on to the great coat roll across the shoulders um, I've got Vallejo game color uh, cold grey Right, let's tackle the model's various bits of wood. So we have a bayonet sheath and a short sword sword, short sword sheath. So this is uh, Vallejo flat brown. Now let's move on to collars, cuffs, epaulets on the shoulders. Uh, <clears throat> all across the, the Russian army of this period these were um, just red. So I've got Vallejo Carmine red. So I also did the turn backs there, and the last bit of red is the sword knot.
Okay, we move on to uh, black on the model. I'm using a very dark grey. This is Vallejo German grey. And we have got Right, so I'm starting with the shackle. Boots and gaiters. One black cartridge box on the rear here. Along with pack. Okay, we need a little bit of lighter brown now. And there is a strap on the musket, um, brown leather for Russians. So I've got Army Painter fur brown. And I think we'll use this brown for um, his hair and moustache. Uh, quite a bit of white to pick out. Um, obviously we've got the um, straps that we talked about earlier. Breeches as well. Um, I've got Army Painter Spaceship Exterior, which is a really light grey. I've never liked painting with pure white. The cord on the shackle, because we've used that grey undercoat with the white, all these white areas should be a lot easier to pick out rather than if we'd gone for a black undercoat. Let's go back to my red for a little dot in the centre of the lentil on the front of the shack over there. Right, metals to pick out. Got some Army Painter plate mail metal. Or the musket barrel and bayonet. That's the water bottle picked out. We have some Vallejo brass now. We'll design on the cartridge box. The ends of the sheaths. sword hilt. A little bit needed just as a detail on the straps either side of the canteen. Any and all buttons on the model so that's some on the cuffs. And the gaiters. And a little detail on the shackle. And our chin straps. So that's the basic colours applied. Um, I'll just take some time to do a little tidying up. So after a little bit of tidying up there, I'm going to move on to some brief highlights. I don't feel it's necessary to highlight the whole model. 
getting a bit of that effect from the uh, Zenithon shade we did at the start. Um, and also we're going to use um, a wash and that will provide some shadowing. Um, I also think it's worthwhile putting a little highlight on the face, extending that to the, the hands where possible. The black um, or German grey as we used could just do with a small highlight. Um, I've got some coat d'armes slate grey, it's just another darkish grey. A little bit perhaps on the Shaco Peak. So we're about ready to wash the model now. Um, because wash takes a, a while to, to dry, we're going to use uh, the power of magic to jump ahead a few stretches to some finished models. Um, I did use Army Painter's uh, Strong Tone Quick Shade Dip, which takes about 48 hours to set. Um, I quite like the dips because I think they provide a um, nicer finish with less tidy up needed afterwards. Um, it doesn't run into the Anyway, so it runs into the crevices better um, than the stuff out of the bottle um, and doesn't settle so much on the surfaces muddying up the, the colours. Um, here we are, eight finished models. We've got um, bases done um, with a bit of static gra grass and some tufts as well. I tried to go for some uh, winter colours in the, the grasses there. I hope that it gives the, the impression that we're somewhere in late 1812 um, and it's getting a bit cold. Um, there's always the option perhaps of doing the bases with a snow effect as well. Um, for the retreat from Moscow where the Russians harried the, the French all the way out to the country. Um, but I guess you'd probably need a snow table for that um, and I don't have one of those so, so grass will do. If you've got any uh, comments or questions, please pop them below. Um, I hope this has been a, a useful guide to, to painting a Russian. Um, the opponents of Napoleon will take up the next few videos, I think. Um, obviously, we've got a fair few nations to, to choose from. I'm going to concentrate mainly on just on line infantry. Um, and we will then um, see about looking at um, elite companies um, eventually cavalry um, and artillery. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.